stop hashing your users' passwords. Now, you might be thinking, what? I thought I, I, thought I was supposed to hash them. Plaintext passwords are a big security vulnerability. Nobody will shut up about plaintext passwords. And look, you're right. Plain text is obviously worse than hashing. But here's the thing. Sometimes people hear hash the passwords and they think of SHA-256 and that's no good. What you really need is a fancier hashing algorithm, something called a key derivation function or KDF. These are a special class of hashing function that are specifically designed for passwords and secret keys. And their most important property is that they're slow. A regular hash function like SHA-256 or MD5 is designed to be fast. And that means that if an attacker wants to use a rainbow table attack, which is basically where they hash a bunch of potential passwords or maybe a bunch of leaked passwords and compare the hashes against the one in your database, it's gonna be a really effective attack. They'll likely find some potential matches and know what some of the users in your database's passwords are. So. Key derivation functions like bcrypt, scrypt, and argon2 are slow by design. So these types of high velocity brute force attacks become impractical very quickly. They also usually do a few other things like handle salting and versioning out of the box for you. And they're typically configurable. You can tune the function with parameters to make it as slow as you need. For argon2 ID, for example, OWASP recommends a minimum configuration of 19 megabytes of memory, two iterations, and a parallelism of at least one, but you can always go even higher for more security. So if you're hashing passwords, don't use a normal hashing algorithm, use a KDF. 